All right, we have a 4493 transfer case, and um, not gonna be able to see a disassembly video on this because the camera was taken up with the uh, Asian Warner 3080 LE build that I was doing, so I didn't have the camera at the time. Uh, the axle seal that actually came out of this looks like this. Uh, this is the one that came in the kit. It'll work. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. This side right here is the side that goes down. So I'll go press this in. The front seal was the same. I've already pressed that in. The linkage seal that was in here was in this way with this side facing up. I would think that that should be facing down. But that's how it was in there, so that's how it's going to go back in. It don't seem right to me. But uh, that's the way it was, so that's how it shall be. I just greased that up really good on the outside. And uh, I'm going to take both of these over to the press and press that in. some of this is going to show up because I got to do it here um, tell you what I think I'm going to change camera angles I'll be back when I do that all right this might be kind of in the way but it should get you a better view so we got our planetary that we're going to stick in here go ahead and grease that up so it slide through that seal easier yeah we got this bearing goes in here we got this fork This collar and hub. Actuator. A rod. main shaft with our pump and we got a slot on our pump a slot right here our pickup tube is towards the bottom clips up here our filter has got a hook into here this uh, piece here it's got to go in there hopefully that all showed up on the camera and let me get this down. There we go. We got a magnet sits on top of the. Okay, so we got a shim. bearing assembly goes with this side down got a shim goes in here we got our fork assembly there is a spring up inside of here with the snap ring you do, don't need to take that apart this 
any of this is bad you're going to be replacing all this anyway this is the fork that goes bad you're going to get an aluminum one it's plastic from the factory Slide down. Well, you want to be difficult. Something's not quite right. Right, it's wanting to get bound up on here. Get some PB blast. better and we got this shaft here we got our chain and sprockets the blue link is going to face up towards us there's two different sides to this gear make sure that the long sides facing up Come on, start. All right, looks like we're down. And we got this gear, teeth side down. The planetary has to be indexed. You can see the dot right there. Dot right there. Dot right there. Washer. This gear did see a difference between each side, so I don't think it matters which way it goes.
spring. Put a thin bead of silicone around here. There's no need to pull the output shaft out of the other section of case unless that bearing is bad. And there's a snap ring in there that you got to undo to get it out. Super thin film of silicone, you don't need much at all. It's just going to squeeze it all out. And then it's going to end up inside your unit. show up on the camera there's a snap ring right there take the output shaft out now it's going to spline into that gear torques on the bolts. If I had to guess on these bolts are probably torque to yield bolts and since this is a titanium case these are special bolts you can't just use any old bolt that you want to in it. I would imagine that they wants you to replace these bolts every time it's rebuilt. Actually, every time you tighten it down. So let's say that you tighten this down and there was something wrong inside of this case, you're supposed to get you another set of bolts before you try to tighten it down again. I'll have to look that up, but I, I would bet you anything that is the case. Now this one here is a 4493-013 that is a 013 is the final designation on the, what parts are in here. And 4493 is just the generic part of what it is.
speed sensor goes in here. We have an O-ring that goes on there. Three quarters on the wrench that you need. It has a rubber seal that goes in and yeah, I'm not gonna be able to show it to you. It goes around that shank and then there's a washer that pushes that up inside of there. It seals that off. Your nut, it's a self-locking nut inch and three sixteenths on that. All right. I didn't change the rear seal because the seal that they gave me is wrong. I'm going to have to wait for that. And then our gasket for the front. Other than that, we're done with this transfer case. Here's our number, 4493-013. All right, that's it for this one.